Thoughts on practice today? Uh, pretty good practice. Uh, we lost the sun today, so uh, sometimes the sun brings a little more energy. So uh, we were a little bit up and down, but uh, uh, guys are learning and uh, flying around, so we just got to keep working on uh, uh, staying up at a high level the whole time. What are your thoughts been on Lamont McDougal now that he's kind of playing for, for real time now? Uh, Lamont's doing a good job. He's a physical uh, player. He gets after it, you know. So he's learning the defense right now, and and uh, so we're just uh, continuing to work with him on, uh, you know, technique and, and things of that nature to make sure that uh, once he gets uh, the learning piece down, he's got the technique down, and then he's ready to go. Do you think having players like Misi and Amir inside as well are elevating Lamont's play as well out here four practices in? Well, I think so. Uh, I think uh, you know, with the group that we've got, there's there's guys that are hungry to play. Uh, there's some guys that have played a little bit, and uh, and so those guys that have played, they're really helping the other guys out to, to get them up to speed as fast as they can. And the guys that haven't played a lot, they're hungry to, to uh, show what they can do. So uh, the competition's been good. The, the team uh, morale's been good. And so, uh, so far, so good. Pretty excited about it. Losing Taylor and Logan, what's the best way for you as a coach just to try and develop capable starters and backups and fill, and fill that experience void you're losing there? Uh, well, our philosophy is that, you know, we play a lot of guys, especially on defense. And so, uh, you know, when you do have guys that graduate, you feel good about the next set of guys that are, that are stepping in because they have played a significant amount of downs throughout the season. Uh, so it's, uh, you know, still got to sort it out to see who's uh, one, two, and three. Um, but you feel good about, uh, you know, what they're bringing to the table. And then the pass rush was definitely a strength last year, but this is your third season on the Palouse. Do you feel like gradually you're getting more and more talent uh, in the fold that you have to coach now as you've been here? Well, I think uh, the guys are feeling more comfortable in the defensive scheme and what we're doing. And, and uh, in a program, you hope that you can continue to uh, move forward and continue to elevate, uh, get better than you were the year prior. Uh, so, you know, we'll, uh, uh, obviously there's a lot that goes into it. You know, guys on the back end covering, uh, uh, us getting pressure on the quarterback. It's a, it's a marriage that, uh, that you definitely have to have between the two uh, units. And then also you throw the linebackers in there too, you know, covering the underneath route. So they give us a little more time. We got some time to get to the quarterback. We put a little more pressure on the quarterback. Maybe the quarterback makes a bad decision. Touching on the success that you guys have had in the pass rush, does it get harder year after year? Last year, you know, you top the Pac-12 in sacks, and do teams anticipate a good pass rush coming from uh, WCU more? Uh, well, I would imagine so. Uh, but again, you know, the defensive philosophy, uh, Coach Clay's defense is putting pressure. Uh, you know, it, it's uh, what Coach Leach wants, uh, you know, from a team aspect. And so uh, you put the pressure on there, whether you, you rush with four, rush with three, you send some extra guys on the blitzes. Um, but any combination that we can do in it with any personnel that we do it with, uh, just trying to get, uh, you know, some you know, added pressure on the queue, you know, get that ball out as quick as we can. In some of those one-on-one -on -one drills, how do you think Liam Ryan has looked at left tackle going against some of your guys? Oh, Liam's done a really great job. You know, he, he's, uh, he's a very athletic young man, and he's a smart football player. Uh, so him sliding out there to, to left tackle, I mean, it's, you know, it's like riding a bike, I guess. He just kind of picked it right up and, and ran with it. So, um, but it, I think it just shows the, you know, what the offensive staff and particularly what Coach Miller has been able to, to do with those guys. And, and then obviously you got to throw in Coach uh, uh, Tyson Brown with the uh, strength staff as far as getting those guys, uh, you know, stronger and more agile. And, and then you can start mixing and matching people around to get the best combination. How's it been working with Coach Bell and Tony for practices in thus far? Oh, it's been great. You know, I, I'm not the new guy, so that's always a great thing. Uh, but Coach has done a, done a great job, and I've known him for a long time. We've known him for a long time. And uh, so it's exciting to see him out there and getting into the fold, getting to know the players, and the players getting to know him and, and uh, building that, uh, that trust factor between the two groups and, and uh, getting after. So uh, we're headed in the right direction. One more. When you get your opportunity to do the one-on-one -on -one pass protection drills, are there any, any matchups that you really get excited about? Uh, you know, at this point, I would say, I mean, all of them are pretty exciting. You know, once it starts to, to sort itself out, you know, but, you know, when you see Namdi out there, you want to see him uh, continue to, to Im improve on his uh, pass rushing ability. Uh, when you see Will Rogers, you know, seeing him go to different spots to, to challenge different guys, and you like to see that. You know, seeing Misi and Lamont uh, bringing a more physical aspect to it. Uh, so they're all pretty exciting right now, and as we kind of go through the spring, we'll kind of sort it out, figure out uh, who, who are the best matchups to, to uh, kind of do some challenges with. So we'll see how that goes. Actually, just one more. I don't know if today, but definitely on Tuesday, you gave uh, Namdi a few chances to rush from the interiors. How you, what are your thoughts about him rushing from the interior? 
Well, you know, when he's tucked inside, uh, you know, he's because he, you know, he's explosive, you know, and I think that's what Hercules was really good at was being explosive, uh, pass rushing through that B gap. And so it puts a lot of pressure on the offensive line, I do believe. And and, uh, and so if we got an opportunity to slide him inside from time to time and, and provide some interior pressure on, on a guard that may be not uh, quite used to that, uh, you know, then that's what we'll want to do. But again, it's, it's sorting it all out and see where the pieces fall into play uh, as we continue to move through the spring. Coach, uh, what's your sense of energy in the drills between the O-line and the D-line so far, four practices in? Uh, so far, it's been pretty good. Uh, we, we've had a couple of scuffles in there and some guys getting after it, you know. Uh, but it, I tell you what, it's a, it's a respect factor between the two. The battle of the trenches, uh, we talk about it all the time. But, uh, you know, and I will say that uh, we are the only ones, offensive linemen, defensive linemen, the only ones with men in our title. So we have to uh, make sure we bring the energy and the effort uh, each and every time.